morning family i just got out of the gym and i was having a conversation with a gym buddy of mine and we were talking about horror movies and we started to you know reminisce about horror movies that you know we that just doesn't jive with us but it put me in remembrance to when i was really into the walking dead and i stopped watching the walking dead and here's why I can tell you that I love The Walking Dead. I love the concept of The Walking Dead. Everybody in my family know that I was strong into, I did not miss an episode. I was completely a Walking Dead fan. I watched The Talking Dead. I watched YouTube people who talked about The Walking Dead. My kids were, you know, they would buy me things with Daryl, with everybody of the cast members. I was completely loyal to The Walking Dead. And it's easy for, you know, when I fall in love, I remain loyal. I just, you know, it's easy for me. Shoot, I watched all my children from birth. I used to, back at college, I used to schedule my classes around one o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time because all my children used to come on at one o'clock. So I was a huge Walking Dead fan. And I stopped watching Walking Dead when they killed the son, okay? When they killed Carl, I was done. And here's why. The whole reason for the show, people love the show because not because it was gory or anything like that, because it was basically about survival. We had just came out of a recession in 2008. The show came out, I believe in like 2010. So people had a renewed sense of wanting to fight for something, right? They wanted to know that they were survivors because we had just survived the, the, the recession. So people had this sense of surviving. So that was basically, I would say the attraction to the walking dead and the whole story concept we were all in it it was like everybody's soap opera we talked about it it was just uh it was just a time for for i know for the united states to kind of get into get into something that we could all rally around and it was about hope right it was all about how, hope no matter who died it was still kind of you know you still had hope there was still hope that the world could be rebuilt that you could have families to basically uh you could live back to a normal life and isn't it funny that we went through kind of something like that but back on the walking dead and so i love uh, andrew lincoln his character denia guerrera love their characters everybody and love the law love story everybody was all into the love story i think that's when the term shipping came out but when they killed the lee's son what the heck did he have hope for you kill a man's wife first of all you, he loses his job, right? He was in a coma. He loses his job. He loses his wife. He's raising a baby that he doesn't know if it's his or not, right? Could be his best friends, but he's a, he's a gentleman. He's above that. He's not looking at what happened. He's, he's still raising a baby, but his son, right? He still wants to rebuild for his son. He has this relationship with this other woman who is beautiful, right? And they came together because of the son, because of their connection to his son. And then they killed that. And then the show wanted us to believe that everything was still everything was still going to be okay i was not down with it i felt like it was a kind of an assault on my character i felt like it was an assault on uh, my belief systems I, I felt like what they were trying to do they were trying to somehow brainwash me into believing that a man could go through all of these things and have his son who he's doing everything for have his son die and and not like lose it right and not really lose it and things can go on as normal i wasn't buying it i didn't like it it just struck me the wrong way now other fans i know you guys are going to get on me because you know other things are going on they had spinoffs they had this you know that that's fine if you want to continue and you still continue and you're like well you're not you weren't really a fan if you just sit up there and laugh just because somebody died a lot of people died and i'm like back up with that back up back 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 it up Everybody knows that there was something when Glenn got killed, that was the warning. That was a warning that the show was going to go into a dark place. That was a warning, but we loyal, we love it. We just continue to keep going, right? And then they killed his son, right? I, I was just like, you could have replaced it. I understand that Ch Chandler Riggs, that there may have been some behind the scenes and I haven't been following it. So it could have been some things that have been revealed since then. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there were some financial things going on with his parents or he wanted more money or whatever the case may be. We'll find out in some years. They could have replaced the character. They could have, and, people, and maybe the producers were like, nobody was going to agree with that. People would have been like, oh, you know, why you replace him? And then I would have lost some viewers. I, 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 I wouldn't have bought that. They could have said anything and just replaced the character, but not kill 
the son. That's who the whole purpose of the show was to was to rebuild and to see this little boy witness all these things and grow up and still survive in this hell, in this hell. So I'm I'm like I'm done. I and I know a lot of you people will say, oh well, what about what about the, uh, the uh, Lenny James character? He lost his wife. He lost his son. But you remember those things occur off screen. We didn't see. We didn't get to have a relationship with Lenny James's wife and his son. Those were things that were off scene, and that was for him to kind of come back as kind of like the monk kind of person and you know again we could talk about you know magical negroes and things like that matter of fact i should do a whole like like live or something with my daughter and we'll go through different movies when they have that whole like magical negro theme going on but anyway so you can't pull up the lenny james character and say well that was the same thing that happened to him because he was not going to be kind of like this adam and eve character rebuilding replenishing that was not his purpose his purpose was to be the sage it wasn't it wasn't ever for him to to grow in the way that the Andrew Lincoln character was to grow. So again, thank you for going with me, you know, through this rant on why I stopped watching The Walking Dead. And I should talk about maybe later why I stopped why, why I regret with everything that's within my soul watching Game of Thrones. But maybe we'll, we'll we'll talk about that later. Again, you guys, if you, you know, you like this stuff, let me know. Go ahead and like it, subscribe to it, and just have a beautiful, beautiful Labor Day weekend because I am.